Good afternoon. Welcome. It's great to have all of you here. Thank you very much for your interest in AT&T. A special welcome to those who are joining on the webcast today. I'm delighted that you're here so we can tell you a little bit about our new product introduction, DirecTV Now. It's a big day for all of us here at AT&T. We're really excited about this. I'm very excited about it. I've got a few things to say and then I'm going to get out of the way and let the people who are responsible for this chat with you a bit and tell you about the product, the offer, how we're going to go about this in the market. And I think the very first thing I want to do is extend my thanks and appreciation to some select leaders who have been really critical in making this all happen over the last 10 months or so. A tremendous amount of work's been done. It takes a lot of effort to get this done and you start with Dan York and his team and the great job they've done getting our contract agreements and our content agreements normalized for where we didn't have the rights to deliver content in this fashion, just a tremendous amount of work. I've never seen as much paper moved in as little time as they managed to do it with terms that I think are gonna put us in a very unique position from a cost structure perspective in the market. Brad Bentley and his organization, we do scale at AT&T. When you bring a product in, it needs to be scaled. And that's the good part about it, but sometimes it takes a village inside AT&T to make scale actually work. And Brad and his team did a fabulous job of keeping the big engine on track and making sure everybody was headed down the rails correctly, and get us to where we needed to get in a very short period of time. And then you don't have a product without a great product platform. And Enrique Rodriguez and his engineering team, fabulous job integrating, bringing this together all in the midst of doing an M&A transaction on a company that ended up forming the backbone of what we have here to bring to market. Great work there, great work with our partners, George and the full screen team and the integration work that they've done, other parts of AT&T, just top notch effort. My real sincere thanks and appreciation for what we've done. So we've been doing a lot since we closed the transaction to get ourselves ready for this moment. And we believe it's very, very important that we bring a new platform out to make this happen. We've talked about a premium entertainment experience available anywhere that's mobile, that's fully available to customers, and this platform is a critical way for us to start. The first product we're launching on this platform is DirecTV Now, but it's really important to understand this is the foundation for how we're going to do things in the future. This is bigger, in my view, than the introduction of the Uverse product 10 years ago when we entered the TV business from AT&T. Why is it bigger? because for the first time in our history, we have control of the full stack. The full stack of software, the platform, and bringing it all the way out to the end user customer experience. And that puts us in a very unique position as we evolve products over time so that we have access to data, we have full access to the customer experience, we can iterate quickly, and we can iterate literally over any platform that a consumer chooses to consume content on. And that's a very exciting place for us to be, but that is just the start. But now is about now. We're gonna to talk to you about our first introduction of a product today, and we're gonna lay this out. Today, as I move through this, I'll get through a little bit of the content. We're gonna give you time to ask questions at the end. So first, premium products and premium content has been very important to our business, and we've been iterating since we closed the transaction on that. We brought you 4K. We've been working very, very hard to have a TV everywhere experience that is relevant for our customer base to bring them more value. We almost have 50% of our customers now consuming content that they buy from us on something other than a TV set hanging on a wall. It's a huge move since we closed the direct TV transaction. We recently launched data free TV so customers can consume content that they buy on the go wherever they want, not worried about uh, their usage on their mobile devices, another value of having a family of products from AT&T. We're still focused on making sure we have a great premium product, and we have a great premium customer base that we're not going to forget. However, some things have changed. And what's changed is we have a new segment of the market that we want to address. Our platform, this new platform, allows us to do that. We get to address a new audience. The first is, we developed this with a mindset that it had to be mobile. This is the first product we've really done that way, where the whole UI context is done mobile first, ensuring that every piece of content that we sell the customer can be used not only in a mobile environment, but also used in the living room, but biasing ourselves to the mobility and the experience in those areas. There's over 20 million households 
that are not part of the pay TV ecosystem today. This product is tuned to address portions of that base, to find the folks that maybe couldn't pass credit checks, to look at the cord shavers and the cord nevers, and find a way to complement what is already a great premium subscriber base for those that have not been able to get into the ecosystem, to take costs out of the platform and pass many of the savings back to them, to establish a relationship with those customers on premium content and then grow their relationship with other AT&T products all the, over time. This is also a great opportunity to begin to address segments of the market that we did not penetrate well with either of the legacy companies. Neither AT&T or DirecTV was particularly good in areas like MDUs and apartment buildings where people are unable to sign up for long-term contracts or the economics of the in-service life don't warrant high subscriber acquisition costs. This opens up a whole new segment of the market that we've typically been un ineffective at addressing. And so we're very excited about this. My kids are a great example of this. My son was home this weekend. He works in, and lives in Washington, D.C., had a chance to play with the product over the weekend. He said, this is what I want. This is what matches my lifestyle. And so we're very excited about getting after this particular part of the audience. What I would tell you now is that the dynamics of this particular segment that we're interested in addressing with this product are changing pretty rapidly. Video consumption continues to grow. It's growing most aggressively in a mobile environment, hence the need for a mobile-first product. We're seeing this dynamic where people expect choice and flexibility in the product. They want to be able to work through things in a fashion that's simple for them. They want to be able to have more options in how they consume the product. This is a platform that allows us to do that. It allows us to mix and match the product across different access solutions, some provided by AT&T and some provided by others. Could be another mobile provider, it could be another broadband provider. It's a great match for us to take a nationwide wireless network and marry it with a nationwide high value entertainment product that comes together. So we're here to go after this in a way that we've never gone after it before. And the beauty of this, as I said, is this is our first iteration. Because it's a software-based product, there's more to be done on this. There are more iterations on features, more iterations on the product, and more things we can do to bring in other parts of the ecosystem on this multi-tenant platform that allows everybody to start distributing their content in an effective fashion. Our theme is Let Freedom Stream. We think this personifies the segment of the market that we're going after. People who want the flexibility, people who weren't willing to go into the ecosystem as it was before, who want the flexibility of a product that's adaptable, flexible, that allows them to do it on their terms. And so we just released across the wire some of the specifics. You can look at it after you leave the room today on pricing and the packaging and the structure around it. Brad will give you a little bit more background on that as we go through this, but we think it's going to be a big game changer. So today, we're going to go through a couple things with you. I'm first going to ask Enrique Rodriguez to come up and give you a little bit of background on what is this technical platform and how do we intend to use it going forward. Brad will walk you through a brief high-level demo here in the room. Downstairs, you'll have an opportunity to go down and actually play with the product in, a, in an environment where we have a variety of different equipment so you get a sense of how it works on different CPE provided by different manufacturers. That's, in fact, one of the beauties of it. He also has a special guest he'll be introducing to you. And we're going to ask George to come up and talk to you a little bit about how we've done the full screen integration and how that fits into our product offering as well. We'll uh, take your questions after we're done with the formal presentation and then let you head down to the demo room and get your hands on the product. So with that, I'd like to introduce Enrique Rodriguez, who runs our engineering organization. Thank you, John. That's going to be uh, pretty tough expectations to, uh, to meet, but uh, let's, see, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I don't think there's anybody that at AT&T is more excited about this moment um, than myself. We've been working on this product for a few months, um, you know, sorry, I just started and I'll correct myself. The team that has been working on this product, I'm sure are even more excited than I am uh, on getting to this particular point. The, the team that John mentioned works across California, Toronto, <laughs> Texas, all parts of the country, Israel, and they put together a fantastic product that I think uh, you're, uh, you're all going to like. So let's talk a little bit about this. John mentioned that there will be more than 100 live channels being streamed live on this platform. 
And a very important aspect of this is that we're talking about live television. As you know, this is not the first product that brings video onto a mobile device or to any device for that matter. But what we're doing is celebrating what, the, what we believe the consumer wants, which is great television complemented with great choice of content beyond that. And when you see products that focus on demand, focus on on-demand video, there are many things that they do right, but the key for us as we developed this platform was to bring a product that could bring the best of live television with the best of on-demand television. And combining this in a user experience that celebrates the content and that really puts the best content out there in front of the consumer. So what we concluded is that the only way we could achieve that and really have a best-in-class product was to develop a brand new platform. And so that's what we've done for over the last year, um, banking on the solid experience that both AT&T and DirecTV have of bringing content to the consumer for many, many, many years, both over satellite as well as on other platforms and other networks such as IP um, and uh, the, the, the Uber's product that John mentioned a while ago. There's a couple of aspects of these type of products that are very, very important for the consumer. When I use DirecTV now, the thing that I am most fascinated about is my ability to change channels, to change from one piece of content to another, and to do it in a manner that is smooth, that is almost instantaneous, and frankly, that it represents my desire to continue enjoying all these great products, all this great content that I'm paying for. And so we built a completely new platform in order for us to, to bring this together. And that's what we believe we're delivering with this product. As John mentioned, this is just the start of a road. We believe that we're going to continue enhancing this product and this platform as we bring more and more features to it and as we bring more and more content to it. So to put it in context of what we have today, today, as you know, AT&T and DirecTV bring many services to the end consumer. We bring services over satellite. We bring services over the Uber's network. We bring services to you on our TV Everywhere products, over the mobile network, over the internet. But the way we do it today, the way this company has, has you know, come together, we do it across five different platforms. With launch of DirecTV now, we basically have five platforms in operation today. And with, with five platforms, we mean five different data sets, five sets of advertising, five sets of recommendations, many, many things that make it difficult to innovate and to really bring that best-in-class experience that we believe the consumer deserves and the consumer really, really wants. So as you see DirecTV now get to the marketplace, what you should also have in the back of your mind is that this is the first use of our brand new platform. And what you're going to see over the next months and the next quarters is bringing more and more of the experiences that we bring to you as a consumer onto the same platform. Okay, today we de deliver NFL Sunday ticket, for example, over IP, over online. We deliver, as we said, DirecTV uh, over satellite. You will see all these come together under a single set of data, single set of recommendations, single set of advertising, all the things that we believe are important to run this business correctly. And we need to do it in a way that the consumer will enjoy it, not just in their great 4K television in the living room, but they will enjoy it in every device that they own and they love. And they enjoy it over any network that they happen to be, to be interacting at that time, whether it's the open internet, whether it's a, a managed network like our Uber's network, or whether it's a mobile network like ours or, or those of our competitors. So probably, you know, what, what, you know, when you think about this is, what does it really mean to an end consumer? And the way that we try to capture the key anchor points about this platform is number one, it's going to be a personalized experience. This experience will get better and more relevant to you the more you use the platform. The more you use the platform, our recommendations will get better. Our understanding of what's important to you as a consumer, obviously within, within care of all kinds of privacy laws and policies, is go, are going to get better and better and the content that we're going to present to you will be more relevant to you. And that's not just content, it also means advertising, it, all, it also means the experience that, that happens around them. Second thing that was very important for us is to celebrate content. Ultimately, the reason that people subscribe to DirecTV and now will subscribe to DirecTV now is to enjoy fantastic content. 
And we believe that it's not important to put the bells and whistles, if you will, if you will in front of the consumer. What the consumer really wants to is get to content as fast as possible. And of course, we want to do that across great live content, whether that's sports, news, any other entertainment, and great on-demand content. And we believe that with this product, we can bring those two worlds together in a way that, um, that the consumer would really enjoy. But I'm sure by now you're really tired of hearing from me what we're going to do. Uh, it's probably a lot better to actually get to see what we are delivering. So with that, let me introduce Brad Bentley, who is going to show you uh, the product. Great. Is this thing on? Great. Uh, the revolution is here. I can't tell you how excited I am today to be able to be up here and present to you guys. When I say the revolution is here, I spent 15 years at DirecTV running marketing and strategy. And the, one of the biggest challenges we always had is being able to provide a solution to customers who are looking for more choice and flexibility. Because our solution was a $1,000 satellite solution, we had credit checks in place, which required two-year commitments, which required a number of hurdles that the customers were just completely frustrated with. What some of you may not know is we get five, six million people that want DirecTV every day, but they don't pass the credit or they can't deal with the terms that we've had to offer. This is a new model. This is not only a new product, but it's an entirely new business model for AT&T with an entirely different cost structure. And we're incredibly excited about what we think it will do and what it means for the market. Choice and flexibility. As I mentioned earlier, all those hurdles, and I'll take you through them, we've tried to knock them down. We put the customer at the very center of it and try to create a business model that makes sense for the consumer and makes sense for us. And I, I think once you get through all this, you'll agree it's a pretty compelling value proposition. Look, this is all the content consumers want. You've heard a lot about skinny and a lot of different things. The challenge with skinny bundles is your skinny is different than my skinny, which is different than someone else's skinny. This is an incredibly robust premium content full of rich, content from each of these providers. The only one missing from this is CBS and Showtime, which we're working through actively. Uh, but you'll agree that as you go through it, we have programming lineups downstairs. And as, as John and Enrique touched on, this is a live TV experience, but also with VOD and a data-driven VOD experience where we can curate and drive the right content in front of each user. And I'll show you what that looks like when we do the demo. Look, we've defined it internally as rules-free TV, right? Who loves rules? No one loves rules. And so what do you mean by rules-free TV? There's no annual contract. There's no cable box. There's no waiting for an installer to come between certain hours where you're having to take time off work. There's no credit check. You can cancel any time. Not only can you cancel, but because it's app-based, you can, you can move up and down in between packages within the app itself. So you have complete control. And guess what? There's also no bill. It hits your debit card. There's no three or four page bill that you're trying to understand. We've used the mantra internally as stunningly simple and rules-free TV, and I think throughout the presentation, hopefully the stunningly simple comes to life. And consumers want more TV freedom. They want all that great content, but they want it everywhere, and they don't want limitations around that content, and, so, and they want great value. And so what I want to show you here is our pricing and packaging, which I know a lot of folks have been eager to get a better sense of what we're offering. From the names of the package, we took a completely different approach. It's not a gold, silver, platinum. This audience, we got to speak to completely different. We created live a little, just right, go big, and you got to have it all. And the price points you see here are everyday prices, everyday simple pricing. This is not promotional. This doesn't roll off. What you see is what you get. And the channel count isn't stock full of music titles or public interest. This is paid premium content from a few slides back. And so you can see it's a pretty robust lineup, anywhere between $20 and $30 of what it is in a traditional kind of DBS household. Now, some may ask the concern between the both. This doesn't have 4K. This is limited to two streams, right? This doesn't have the premium sports. But for a segment of audience, this is a very compelling value proposition to be able to get two streams, all that content, and hopefully you'll see in the demo, wrapped up in a very data-driven, personalized fashion. And I feel like some of this is a bit of an infomercial because there'll be a few, but wait, there's more. We do are, are gonna launch with some limited time pricing. This is the packaging and, and cost that I just shared with you. Out of the gate, we're gonna offer our Go package over 100 channels for $35. And anyone who comes in during this introductory price will be grandfathered as long as they're a customer and stay active paying. Now, these packages will be subject to price increases down the line. You know, as content goes up, they'll have to adjust. 
What, what I want to communicate to you is this desire to bring an incredibly robust lineup at an incredible value to the consumer. And, and that's what we're going after without all the rules and conditions. And all devices are welcome. You'll see downstairs, whether it's Apple devices, phones and tablets, Android devices, you can touch and feel. We've got over 120 different devices from tablets, phones, and TVs that you guys can touch and demo. Each one of you can grab one, sit down, take a look, maybe have a cocktail. Um, but go through your own personal experience, because what will happen is this gets more personalized as you work through it. All your favorite browsers, all the major streaming devices, Apple, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, Roku will follow in the next two to four weeks, but the other three will be at launch. We're also working with Apple that across all of our retail stores, if you pre-buy the first three months of DirecTV Now, we'll give you an Apple TV product. And in the store, they'll be able to walk out with that Apple TV product. So we're incredibly excited about that. Also, because it's a voice enabled, it's a great experience. Same goes with Fire TV sticks. If you want to pre-buy your first month, you get an Apple Fire TV stick as well as the Alexa voice remote included for free if you pre-buy your first month. Uh, at launch, we're going with a seven day free trial. And what's great from an app standpoint is you can get an app on any of these devices and try it for seven days uh, free of charge. But in these two, when we're offering you a, st uh, a streaming device when you prepay. And why we're going this path is because we found through a lot of different research, if you can get the product up to the big screen in the home, you have a much better likelihood of retaining those customers. We also have done a, a big partnership with Lieco. Many of those executives are here in the room. These, device, these TVs that you see on the right and left and all of them downstairs in the demo are Lieco TVs. Um, anyone who buys a 55, 65, or 85 inch TV, we have special offers where you get six, nine, or 12 months of DirecTV Now included. Why this is important to us is because Lieco is a smart, a smart TV product which believes in the, the, the power of streaming. And so this is also part of a longer term project where we're a deep integration amongst the Lieco devices. And so starting tomorrow, um, they'll make this available, and you'll see here a bit how they'll um, how we'll redeem that. HBO, you can add it for five dollars. Some might have thought it was a mistake, and there should be a one here, but for five bucks, the full HBO portfolio, all of the VOD content, all of the on-demand content will be available from season one. You can add Cinemax for five dollars um, on top of the price points that I shared. And so there is a buy-through; you have to have a base package. But you've got incredible additional content that you can add at an unprecedented price. Now, the other great thing is DirecTV Now is just better together as part of the ATT. Uh, you know, what's enabled this is uh, you know, working more closely. We've already have the nation's best mobile network, but really bringing the, the mobile video to life across that network and doing it data free. One of the other big hurdles about unleashing television is that consumers don't know how much data they're using. They don't know when they hit their caps and they don't want to think about it. I mean, the last thing you want to do when you're binging or enjoying entertainment is trying to calculate how many gigs I'm using and where I am in my data plan. When you have DirecTV now and you're an AT&T wireless customer, it's data free. You never have to worry about it. It's all part of um, doing business with AT&T. We're offering this product across all channels of distribution. We have over 5,000 retail stores. They'll be you selling the stick and offering it. We have 85,000 call centers our retention centers, our cricket uh, stores, and authorized resellers. What is important to take away is we have an incredible sales and distribution network. And the way that they're approaching this is needs-based selling. If they get a customer walking into the store who's looking for a, a four or five room system in the 4K, you're gonna want the premium satellite product. But every day we get customers like, I'm looking month to month, or I have a 12 month lease, or I can't get a view of the southern sky, or I just can't make a long-term commitment, I'm looking for something that's a bit more affordable. We now have that solution in DirecTV Now. And so we're leveraging this across all of our touch points to now have a solution to customers that we were having to turn away previously. And then lastly, we're building our next generation platform. Working closely with Enrique, we truly believe that this has to be a two-sided model where in order to keep subscription prices down, that we also have to develop more relevant, more data-driven monetization tools within advertising. That we have to find smarter and better ways to deliver VOD advertising that limits the ad load, but are more relevant to the consumer and a much better experience. And so on top of our AT&T AdWorks, and we have folks here in the room that represent that, it's already a $2 billion business when you add all of our advertising. This is how we're gonna keep our pricing down, is creating uh, innovative, data-driven ad placements across our streaming product. We mentioned in our press release back in March that we would also, speaking of ad sales, have a, 
of Freeview, an area where we want to provide content to all 130 million mobile customers. If they try the seven day free trial and for whatever reason don't want to proceed, we will always provide content through DirecTV Now where they can click into it. You can see it's a small portion of the larger pie, but it's all free, it's new every week, highly curated, and there's good stuff in there. The point is to have tease a bit and always let there's more behind the paywall. So we'll put exclusives there, we'll do unique things there. We want to drive traffic there, but ultimately we'd like to give the customer a full solution in DirecTV now. at t Originals, these are some that we already do. I started just a few weeks back. We've got Undeniable, Joe Buck, Kingdom, Dan Patrick. These are things that are already on the at t platform. They'll be available on AT, uh, DirecTV now, but there will be so much more. And one example is, some of you may have seen, we've did a deal with Taylor Swift that we're extremely excited about, where we are launching uh, Taylor Swift now. And so that is launching here just in a few quick weeks. She is actually gonna be uh, tweeting that out in, in a little bit, and I wanna play the video that she's given a bit of a teaser to her fans of launching on a special day where you can enjoy all of her unique, never seen before content, where she's giving commentary on top of it, only available on AT&T and DirecTV now. So why don't you go ahead and roll tape, please. Incredibly excited about this. What we'll be launching in a few weeks is 13 chapters from Taylor of, like I said, never seen before footage. And we'll regularly be updating with additional uh, chapters and special events, including the concert that she's doing for our at t customers as part of the big weekend in, in Houston here in a few weeks, where she'll be playing for our Super Saturday night. And we'll be using a lot of that footage to bring to our at t customers, including uh, DirecTV Now. This next piece is Hello Sunshine. We're incredibly excited about this partnership that we have with Peter Chernin and that he brought it to us and struck a deal. Um, this is a, a new kind of format using you know, A-list Hollywood talent who have become producers and creators themselves. And so what better person to come up and talk about the Hello Sunshine than the founder herself? Reese, will you join me on stage, please? Let's give a round of applause. Good. So tell us what Tell Us Sunshine all about. Well, I'm so thrilled to be here. First of all, isn't this very exciting? I mean, incredible news about how we're going to be watching television live now, wherever you are. Um, so I'm thrilled about this opportunity to partner with AT&T and DirecTV uh, to bring my new production company, Hello Sunshine, to their, their customer base. Um, about four or five years ago, I started a company that was female-driven. And we just started to see there was so little content created for women by women. So this is an opportunity for not us only to just create, you know, um, television shows, but also digital content and really expand to that audience that uh, is so frequently unheard, unheard from and particularly in the middle of the country and really showcasing female lifestyle and what does it mean to be an American woman. So I'm thrilled for this opportunity and, um, and for Brad and John to, to help us uh, be part of this incredible uh, new venture. Awesome. Thank you so yeah. much, Reese. Thanks so really much. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Hopefully what you've seen is not just all that premium traditional content between stuff like the Taylor and things like Hello Sunshine with Reese that we're bringing quality made for digital exclusive content to our customers. And we can get that right in front of the customers that are going to be most interested in it because it's a curated, personalized experience. When is all this coming? In 36 hours. Everything but the last two pieces. Taylor will be in a few weeks, and Reese is gonna be early next year. Everything else I said prior to that is coming to market in the next 36 hours. So we're incredibly excited. I thought I would just uh, show you a, a little bit about the product real quick. 
We'll do a quick demo. As Donna mentioned, we want you to touch and play it downstairs. For people in South Florida, it doesn't matter what activity. We decided to do Apple TV because we've got this great offer uh, for Apple TV products. So you will be an app that's available right here. You you can click into it. What you'll Somebody notice is you immediately in the live TV. The you see how fast it is. And then the soldier uh, there said, "Only two of you can go inside." What it is. So it if I want to change the channel quickly. The armed robbery. It's pretty fast. And you can you can change channels, and the picture quality uh, is is great. Yeah, and so we can go you know quickly in between each one of these. What you'll find downstairs is even the, quicker. Really We've got a lot of stuff, equipment, things up here. Uh, what I want to show you is. If you hit menu or the up, you can get quick guides and search Uncle's and watch list and settings. If you swipe up, what you're going to get is this curated option. You can look at your home, and particularly this, this first group of stuff is stuff that you've recently watched or things that you have listed as your favorite. I'm going to show you how easy that is. I think what, what I want you to take away from here is this is a viewing experience that is really taking television to the next level because it doesn't stick you right into a linear guide. It takes you into the things that matter most. So if I was just watching This Is Us or Speechless or Kingdom or maybe as I scroll some of my other favorite stations, this is telling me everything that's on live right this moment. These are not bought assets for a later time. These are live assets like that I can get to right now. To um, oh, that's shocked. continue watching. Obviously the voice isn't on right now, but what is on is The Simpsons. Well. Hold on, or was that HBO? Let's try that again. Simpsons. There we are. That was fat fingered it. So, and it's at a commercial break, but you can flip through this channel pretty quickly in live assets. What, and we've got Galavision and Univision, Golf Channel. Uh, but what you can do is you can set your favorites, right? So that first row would be everything that you're most interested in. And occasionally you'll get that uh, commercial break. Pull it back up. You'll have what you want to continue watching. And so let's go into a VOD asset. This is us, which has been great. You immediate access and whatever you're watching here if you stop this and you grab your tablet or you grab your phone it will stop it will pick up right at the exact same moment so if you're watching someone on TV and you need to jump in a car jump in uber or something and you want to watch something you have access and you can catch up right where you were uh, the entire time I'm not sure how to say it swiping up we always have the live content behind the swipe so it never stops you get the audio and you can still navigate and check out other things you watch what I want you to point out on this home page is what's on now. So it's what is your favorite or what you've been watching. Things you want to go back that you've been watching previously. Watch lists of the things that you want to start watching. And then you get into some things that we're curating. Things that we think would be of value based on what we know about you as a consumer. Um, and so we do that with, with new shows, returning. Um, you've got movie, kids. And then as you go down, you've got you know everyone's guilty pleasures, reality TV, uh, some comedy, and then we've got HBO Cinemax. And then at the bottom, we have, um, we'll have AT&T Originals and full screen. And some of this will change. I think some of the, the dramas and stuff will end up putting in the shows. But what I want you to know is that section, is these are curated carousel, carousels. We can bring the content we think is most relevant to you. So this is a much more personalized television experience than what you get today in linear TV. So speaking of full screen, we're also bringing some made for digital content into the mix. And you probably ask them, tell me more about full screen. What is that? What is that? And you know, why are we bringing it? Well, initially we met in March no. and we put out a press release. We were going to go create a DirecTV mobile. And we, as we're working closely with doors, like why are we going to do that? And we've got this great partnership where they're making made for digital content curated for the millennials, commercial free. And so we doubled down on our partnership with Full Screen. And so I last asked George Strompolis to come on up and talk to us. He's the founder and CEO. He's taken Full Screen from zero to 200 million plus revenue. Come up and talk to us about, a bit about uh, Full Screen. Appreciate it, Brad. Well, it's great to be here. Hey, everybody. Um, we're so excited about our collaboration with AT&T. And the DirecTV Now product just looks sick. Like, love the demo. Thank you. That's amazing. I can't wait to start using it. So full screen is home to some of the new voices in entertainment. These are stars like Grace Helbig and Shane Dawson and Andrea Russett that are using social media 
platforms like YouTube and Snapchat and Instagram to build audiences. And these aren't like tiny audiences. I'm talking audiences in the tens of millions. And so at times, if you come to our offices, it feels like the millennial version of, a, of an old Hollywood studio or, or maybe like Andy Warhol's uh, factory back in the day, um, but the internet version. And, and so this is a generation of creators that we know and we love. Now, with all these creators and all the data, I'm talking billions of views happening every month, we learn a lot about the audience. And we know what creators they, they love, we know what formats they like, we know what platforms they're using, we know which platforms are no longer cool. And, uh, and one of the things that is undeniable, the most undeniable about this audience is that they're mobile first. They create content with their phones and they watch content with their phones. And so it's with that in mind that we uh, created the full screen app. We launched it um, earlier this year and uh, so excited through this partnership with AT&T to be rolling it out even wider. So uh, what is the full screen app? It's a premium entertainment experience for the mobile first generation. Featuring fresh content from today's biggest stars, the new voices in entertainment, thousands of shows and movies that people can binge on, and an interactive, beautiful product experience unlike anything out there in the market. We're so excited to be bringing this to customers worldwide. Now, when we talk about our original programming, because that's really what drives this thing, right? People want to see the new, fresh stuff from today's stars. Well, our original programming, it's bold, it's unfiltered, we're betting on new voices, and we're gonna play with formats, short form content, long form content. Um, you know, is it snackable? We do a lot of specials. Uh, we are really agnostic to, to the shape that it comes. We just want it to entertain that audience that we love. So uh, let me give you a, let me run a clip, quick video to give you a sense of what I'm talking about. I want to just live right there. It's my first day on set. <laughs> Bow down to your new overlord. Full screen. Good morning, boys and girls. <laughs> surprised by that? I'm going to need a little more than that. Get ready for what we got coming. So the full screen app is available on every platform, iOS, Android, on the web, um, your connected devices, and um, we're, we're just so thrilled with how this is coming together. Now, we're lucky actually to have some of our stars here today, um, Andrea Russett, Brandon Rogers, and Amanda Cerny. Now, uh, we, we ran some numbers backstage and um, just three of these creators alone speak to an audience of north of 25 million subscribers, fans, and followers. So these are the new voices in entertainment, and again, we're so excited to bring them to, uh, to fans worldwide through the full screen app. So uh, Andrea is with us here today. What's up, Andrea? Uh, hey, uh, so Andrea and, and full screen have been working on a show together. Now, Andrea, we've been working together for many years now, and, um, and so, so excited about apologies in advance, so why don't you like maybe tell the group about it? Hello. Um, so yeah, I've been working with full screen for like four years now. And before that, I obviously was on YouTube, but I actually was doing a lot of radio. I was the youngest syndicated disc jockey in the nation. So um, when I was on other shows, like a guest on full screens, other shows like uh, Shane and Friends and Zal Good, I really fell in love with the platform and how they kind of gave us so much creativity and freedom. And so I really wanted to do my own. So apologies in advance was born. And it's pretty much anything and everything. Um, there's going to be a segment where people can call in and ask relationship advice, because I'm clearly a pro at that. Um, I'm kind of calling it Ellen on crack. So <laughs> we're going to hope for the best with that. But yeah, I'm really excited for it. We are too, Andrea. So glad to be announcing the show with you. Thank you. Um, another one of our uh, guests here today is Brandon Rogers. Uh, Brandon has been compared to kind of the millennial Sasha Baron Cohen. Uh, he's known for his video blogs and also his sketch comedy, and we're really excited to have him here to talk about Magic Funhouse. Brandon, good to have you here. Uh, tell us about Magic Funhouse. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Um, most people who know me on the internet know me as one of the most offensive and vile names in comedy. Um, and so when I was approached to have my own show, 
um, I thought, what's the best vessel for my offensive humor? And I thought, oh, the set of a children's television show. And so this, this series, Magic Fun House, is an adult show about a kid's show. It's what happens when the cameras are turned off. It's a mockumentary that kind of pulls the curtain back from the uh, sort of uh, disgusting and morally bankrupt lives of these terrible people running this children's <laughs> show. <laughs> and I am uh, lucky enough to play the, um, the uh, very ill upstairs host. So, yeah. Well, Brandon, we're excited to be teaming up yeah, with you on Magic Fun House. And um, you know, I think full screen is a place where only something like that can, can come to life. So really, really happy to have you here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. And um, with this next project, um, we went with a dark, sexy thriller called The Deleted. Now, The Deleted was written and directed by Brett Easton Ellis, who you may know from American Psycho fame. And um, it was an incredible project because we got to team sort of a, a known player in Hollywood like Brett with some of our emerging talent and some of the biggest stars in the internet. And we have Amanda Cerny, who's the star of The Deleted here. Hey, Amanda. Um, so uh, tell, us about, tell us about The Deleted. What's it all about? And you, you play a really cool character, so you might want to talk a little bit about your character. Yeah. Wait, is this one? OK, it is. <laughs> So I'm on a show called The Deleted. It's about a group of young adults that are trying to escape from a cult-like institute, and they're just trying to live their normal lives, but somehow there's different factors that keep bringing them back to the institute, anywhere from drugs, sex, addictions, and or characters like myself, which I play a role, her name is Brita, and she's very disturbed. She was kind of born into the institute, so She's probably the most brainwashed out of the bunch and very psychotic <laughs> and very mysterious. So it's a great role for me because I usually do comedy and online on social media, that's the majority of what I do is comedic sketches. So when I met with the director, he was like, oh, you're perfect for this role. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> awesome. So it, it was a lot of fun for me to do, and the director, Brett, is amazing. He gave great direction on set, and he was very open to like our creative input for the characters. So it was a lot of fun, and I'm very excited for it to be on the full screen platform. Well, we're excited to, um, <laughs> thank you. It's really cool, and that's just a taste of the original program we have on the full screen app. So uh, I want to say thank you. Um, we're really excited to be collaborating with AT&T and, and DirecTV now here. Um, so uh, thank you to our talent. And um, I think it's back to you, Brad. All right. So I just have one last slide, and then we'll get to Q&A. Um, we want to bring full. We want to bring content to all of our all of our wireless customers. And so whether it's the DirecTV Freeview. Or in this case, we're offering a full year of full screen as part of any of your mobile postpaid subscriptions. So any customer coming on board, you can get a full year of, of the full screen app uh, included in your subscription. So this is part of seamlessly bringing you know, wireless connectivity and entertainment together. And so we're really excited to, to do that. Everyone can check out the scenes of the deleted. I feel like this day is on maybe part of that somehow, some way. Um, but with that, We'll end the streaming portion of this show, and so appreciate everyone who's been watching online. 